Alright, so now we can go in here. Get it, these dogs will bust out. Is it worth it? I could actually defeat these dogs beforehand. But that would make the the busting part not happen. And I think there's some stuff in there, so might as well let them bust out. Spiders, probably. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and make another triple deluxe. <laughs> Dang. Look at all that health. Right, we got way too much, honestly. And we still got herbs left over. I think I'm done acquiring health items. We got plenty. So I'm just gonna go ahead and have this. Uh, 21 shotgun shells. Should I switch to the shotgun? <laughs> it's, a, it's a choice, but no, I think I'm good. Ah, the plugs are gonna come into play soon, so I'm gonna get them right now and put the herbs in their place. Alright, that is good. descriptions for plugs. King plug, rook plug, bishop plug, knight plug. Uh, I got three of them, so I could use them right now. Alright, we just need one more. Oh. Ada? I don't think I've introduced myself yet. My name's Leon. I'm with the RPD. And? <laughs> it's a dead end. Thanks for pointing the obvious, Leon. You think we can get upstairs through this shaft? Shaft? <laughs> Give me a boost. I'll go and check. I'm sorry, but I knew some, one of you was going to do it anyway, so I might as well did it for you. Alright, so now we are controlling Ada for the moment. And she has a decent amount of ammo, a handgun, and a and a first aid spray. I don't plan on using that. That will put my rank down dramatically. <laughs> she aims kind of sideways. <laughs> Alrighty then. She 
runs really fast, too. Reminds me of Rebecca in Resident Evil 1 when you control her. Alright, we got shotgun shells. We don't have a shotgun, though, so wonder why we are able to pick them up. Go back. Oh, we got another map. It's the sewage disposal map. So, most people, I think, would actually activate that device I just passed up there, and in turn, you would see what would happen here. Water would rise up in this room, along with these boxes here. And there's a whole other side to the room, and you want to get to that other side, so in order to do that, you need to line these boxes the appropriate way, so when you raise the water, you could just walk right across. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Actually, the first one I want to do is this, is this one over here. See, there you go. Now we should be able to get across. There we go. What do we got here? Aha! We got the club key. The last key for the police precinct. Alright, the last thing to do is to get back to Leon. Leon, can you hear me? Ada, did you find anything? Oh yeah. Right here. Think fast. Here's one more. Ah, that's why. So she can give it to us. Hey, I can't reach the ventilation hole. I'm going to have to find another way around. I'll catch up with you later. I'm just gonna leave? What? Ada, wait! <laughs> like I said, she's gonna do that. Alright, acquire the pub key. And the shotgun shells. I got quite a bit of shells now. I'm really debating whether to use it, but it's the first game, so I don't really know whether I should or not, so I'm gonna be safe about it. Uh. No, you know what? I think it's time to abandon the handgun. We're gonna start using the shotgun. I'm gonna take the risk. else? Nope. Don't think so. It's not even fully loaded. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I want to stay on that side. The objective now is to unlock the club key doors. Oh 
no. Loaded with zombies, and I mean, they're all seemingly dead now, but you just know something's gonna happen. Alright, there's the card key. I got the hell out of there because I knew that was coming, and I didn't want to deal with them. Alright, is this key checkable? It says weapon storage. No, it doesn't change the name. It was worth reading, though. Alright, so let's go ahead and unlock that, finally. Alright, now it's open. And weapon storage, you think there's lots of goodies in here. So first of all, yeah, we got shotgun shells, that's nice. More handgun ammo. I might return to the handgun, so I didn't mean it when I said abandonment. <laughs> Anything else in here? It doesn't seem like it. And right, let's check out these lockers. Whoa! Machine gun and a side pack. With the side pack, I can carry more items. Which will you equip? Okay, um, here's the thing. This locker is special because it can be accessed by Claire in the second scenario. So I might want to think about what I want to grab and leave for Claire. I could be a total douche and just grab both of these items with for Leon, but then Claire is left with nothing. I'm not going to do that. I want to try to make Claire's scenario easy too. So honestly, the best thing to grab would be to grab the machine gun and then leave the side pack for Claire. Because, I mean, yeah, Leon could sure use the side pack too. But then again, I'm pretty good about saving space, so I don't think I desperately need the side pack right now. So I'll just leave it for Claire. And the reason, there's a great reason why it's okay to grab the machine gun now. It's because Claire can get her own machine gun in Scenario B at a different location. Unfortunately, it's not until near the end of the game, but still. It's, I think it's a valid point why Leon can grab the machine gun now. So we'll go ahead and grab the machine gun. The only downside to it is, in this game, weapons like this take up two spaces. So it's a space hogger for sure. But don't worry, I'll be coming to an item box soon, so we should be all right. And at least we got one slot still. Alright, let's go upstairs, go back upstairs, and unlock some more club key doors. <laughs> Nothing useful, my ass. More shotgun shells. Yeah, I think... Starting to use the shotgun was a good decision. We got plenty of ammo for it. His throat and abdomen have been torn out. Ah, that's horrible. Alright. Watchman's Diary. We got a magnum. It's a Desert Eagle looking magnum. Sweet. Alright. You rock that, Leon. 